Yeah, most of the mountains will be in the last week of the racing. So uh, some of the riders, like say Le Heretta, uh Baron Kelly, some of the uh, uh, sprint creams, here's will, will sprinter, uh, sprinters will be uh, or climbers will be waiting for those mountains. So some of those teams won't even be in the forefront until we actually get to the mountains. Exactly. Say for instance, right here we have Flavio Zappi, Pinarello leading out Van Imp for the mountain points jersey here, and Zappi will take this uh, first mountain cream. That was a Category 1 climb, uh, Miro Lago, 7 kilometers long that was, 5.2 average, 10% maximum, 3,600 feet high. I bet you at the front here, and that's Marshall Gaon attacking Renault Jeton, just before the second, uh, uh, second mountain cream, which is a Category 3, Gaon attacking off the front, and he just does not let up. Now he's um, basically taking, if he wins this, he'll be taking points away from other contenders, points, time, time bonuses perhaps, away uh -huh. from... Yeah, although he's basically attacking to to shelter Fignon from uh, forcing the pace right. and, and uh, uh, keep him from being at the front. And this is the uh, Peron, Perone flat uh, pass. It's only four kilometers long. It comes right after the first uh, mountain cream, so it's one, two, this, it comes to some uh, eight kilometers at later after the first mountain cream, and it rises another thousand feet. So we come uh, it's a, four, a four kilometer climb with an eight percent maximum grade. Here, here it is right here. So the first climb was uh, 3,400 feet, and now we're 3,600. Now we have some uh, 4,400 feet. Here he is, some um, uh, now, and that. The last mountain cream, there's Guimard, there with his shirt off in the driver's seat next to Gaon. Um, just some 40 kilometers from the finish right here. And uh, that first, the, the second mountain pass just comes uh, some 60 kilometers from the finish. So Gaon has been away now for some uh, 30 kilometers. And uh, so this is uh, Stalbazzi. Now, Scalbasi is doing what here? He's uh, uh, attempting to bridge up to Gaon. Gaon's only got some uh, minute and 30 seconds on the bunch. It looks like he might be a good deal of the way there. Yeah, Scalbasi uh, has uh, some 30 seconds on the bunch. And uh, this is a just regular boulevard freeway, just uh, like an interstate. Uh, <laughs> they're just flying down. He has some riders at the front here watching out for him. But uh, I'll tell you, our group we were with Gissiger and uh, 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 Freuler and whatnot. Boy, I'll tell you, we are just really <laughs> screaming down there on this uh, interstate. But here's Gaon. He's from uh, 20 kilometers from the finish, and there was a small climb just before some uh, 15 kilometers from the finish, too, that rose up to 2,500 feet altitude. And now Moser's in the pack here. Yeah, Moser's near the front, and there's uh, Argentine. Argentine. That's right. And the Samantana shorts, and you see Leali, and uh, Moser, Vecchia, and Lejaretta, all of the stars in the front, Byzantini and Mote. So they're all up near the front. Here we see the finish. The bunch is right in the back. They're getting so close to uh, Guillaume. Now, did Argentine, was he expected to play as big a part in the race as he has? Played? No, he wasn't expected to. That's uh, what's pretty interesting. Look at Gaunt taking his when He stays away for 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers from the last mountain pass all the way to the finish. 36 mile, or 36 kilometer an hour average. He was getting some blocking help though, wasn't he? Oh yeah, but uh, here we are. Argentina looks like he's coming up again. Well, we see Charles Mote right there takes second right in the bottom of the screen. So we have a 1 2 for uh, Renault Jeton. But uh, Argentine third. No, Argentine is fifth. There we had Mote and then two other riders, and then Argentine mm -hmm. just came in. So uh, there he is, 60 after the last climb. And uh, Moser is still on the pink jersey. <laughs>